for Americans in every single event, the two highest that didn't get a medal, so I would count these as my biggest surprises, were Women's Hammer, where I had, I think, 95% or 90% chance of the Women's Hammer producing at least one medal, and the Men's 400. Those were the two that I had the highest that didn't ultimately produce a medal. Yeah, it's weird, right? We There were three legitimate hammer throwers and three legitimate quarter milers that were just like outbeat on the day, especially on the men's 400 meter side. Randolph Ross went out in the early rounds. Norman never really looked himself throughout the entire three rounds. And Cherry did a PB and still lost. Yeah. So like clearly the trio of Gardner, Zambrano, and James – Showed up when it counted most. Gardner mm -hmm. defended that 2019 championship with ease. It wasn't even close. It wasn't like a I uh, he held hold it on for dear life. Um, and Zabrano and James were just super consistent through the rounds. Um, and this, you know, they even had other guys who just there were other bullets that the USA dodged, like Wade Van Niekerk. He wasn't mm -hmm. able to perform into a 44 uh, type <clears throat> runner in the final didn't make the final um there was a couple other bullets they dodged but even with that there were still three extremely solid runners garners and brano and james who were able to come out victorious over the u.s trio um you thought that at least one american when you're winning the four by four by two mm -hmm. seconds and you're able to have so much depth you have to think at least one american be, can be a medalist but it didn't happen it's it's just wild. It's uh, gone are the days where think, USA is just a quarter mile country. I think they're more just like we're really good outside of the. We're really good at four by fours. We're just not too good at the open events anymore. I think that's the new <laughs> US thing. I think when you look back at the season as a whole, and you look at all the results, Gardner is the rightful champion based on what he's done this year. His resume is really solid top to bottom all the all the fast times the, the wins that he has and if you even want to extend it not just to 2021 you just want to look at this era this mini era i guess you could say from 2019 through 2021 you know randolph ross had the time at ncaa's and we saw james and zambrano run fast in the in the heats but those were the only sub 44 times this year there's only been four sub 44 performances of this entire year and Gardner makes sense as a as an Olympic champion. Zambrano, we'd seen him do it before in Doha. James, to me, was a that was another positive surprise here. After all, he's been through to come back and get on the medal stand, and perhaps thinking Cherry was going to be able to to finish ahead of James at the beginning of the season that seemed like a a good possibility. But then after the semis, when James goes forty three eighty eight. Okay, now the task got even steeper. But yeah, I did not have the Americans going four five at the beginning of the year in in this event. And as I mentioned before, women's hammer, I thought at least one medal. I thought the potential of two medals, maybe gold, silver, silver, bronze, something like that. But it was uh, it was tough. But I think uh, Cherry ran really well. Cherry did everything he could, and I think that's another trend that I noticed: these silver medalists and bronze medalists, and even fourth place people. The people who were runner up or third at trials did really well. Like Fred Curley ran really well. Didn't win trials, but went to the Olympics and got silver. The the 200 meter runners who got second and third at trials, they went and got second and fourth in the Olympics. Michael Cherry, second at trials, gets fourth, barely misses a a medal. Go to the high hurdles, Devin Allen runs an amazing race but finishes out of the medals. Like the second and third place people did really well for the U.S. Shows the depth. Ultimately, didn't maybe produce the gold, or in some cases, they were just off the medal in fourth. But it there were good performances outside of just the super duper stars. So is it my turn to uh, come up with a, a positive surprise? Because I I opened up with a negative. It's not negative though to say Holloway lost. Like he's great. He can handle losing one race. He's Still going to be, when all is said and done, he's going to be one of the all-time greats in the, in the 110 hurdles. So it's not that negative. 